Dear Vlad, thank you for taking the couch. Uh, I mean, I was pretty much thrilled of today, the whole day, you know, seeing all the interesting projects that more or less, you know, were, were prototyped, some more, some less. Yeah. But what is your general outtake of this whole hackathon we have been, um, you know, putting together in recent, you know, weeks and days. It was hard work on your side and Sastenisa's side uh, as well. It was a great joy on my end, but what is your like takeaway out of the... Oh, absolutely. Like, well, you, you got to mention that it was not days and weeks before the, uh, we, we prepared the hackathon. It was actually months. So it was hard work uh, on, on your side uh, and as well as on our side, but I think it went... So it's great that we got in touch and I'm excited to see and uh, thrilled to see how the pro projects came about and uh, um, there are many bright ideas that were developed over the just 48 hours we had and uh, the whole event was very well organized and I'm, I'm sure we will have and host more. Uh, I'm not sure whether you are ready about it. We haven't talked about it yet, but I <laughs> hope you will support us uh, and we will... Sure, uh, sure. I think, I think the, 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 the major you know, t topic that brought us together is the, is the sustainability story. Yeah. Why? Because, you know, especially the crypto sense is being somehow accused of not being sustainable, destroying the world in their own way, consuming so much energy uh, while mining. And I think, and that's, our pers uh, that's my personal takeaway, is like Nier is very unique right now in the market and you are the front runner when it comes to a sustainable story, pushing so much for this topic, enabling the Gen Z, younger people from today and tomorrow, understanding the topic from a crypto perspective as well. So there is so much potential in it. Uh, and that's, that's, I think, the most, most important takeaway for me. That's for and sure. definitely we are looking forward to collaborate in the future. Uh, then I would come to the, very quickly to the next question because I think the, the position of Vienna somehow as a hotspot for not only, you know, for cryptos, but a, as any kind of new ideas, startups, is very thrilling because you reach out from this very central point to Central Europe, to East Europe and to a vast, you know, broader community of whole Europe. Yep. Right. So, so what is, what are your plans? What are you thinking about it as Vienna as a hub for you know near community, uh, where we are sharing our ideas and extending these ideas to to the next level? What what do you think of oh, Vienna? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, Vienna is a great hub for any community and specifically for those uh, that, that are focusing on the social problems and sustainable yeah. problems of sustainability and. Uh, thinking through the future, how we will all live in the future yeah. uh, times and uh, just geographically Vienna is the best place to be in and uh, I think it will be actually our uh, one of the uh, most prominent hubs uh, yeah. for the commu near community. But it's uh, ju just to mention near community is decentralized so we do not control how the community will spun up but uh, me personally, living in Vienna, I will definitely uh, be in touch with the with the folks we had during the hackathon, yeah. and I will invite even more people to uh, to join. And uh, yeah, we'll keep keep rolling. Uh, yeah. I I want to meet with more people and uh, evolve the community and build up. And as you mentioned, uh, Nier is a uh, has a unique. Uh, properties uh, or as, as a platform and not only in like novel ways and impl uh, of the implementation uh, targeting the scale of the whole world but also uh, solving the, the problems of other platforms we had before that uh, abused the energy and resources yeah. of, of the world and uh, with Nier, we can actually solve that problem exactly. uh, while also maintaining the be, the best qualities and the properties of the blockchain yeah. itself. So I think that's the best way um, to merge it and uh, the community that we plan to build in, 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 in Vienna will definitely benefit you know, from it. Having known you for a while uh, and also knowing your background, engineering background, and me being you know a data guy, I, here comes a technical question, but a very quick one for our audience. Sure. What is it that makes Near unique for 
developers. Why it is, you know, so interesting because I went through, uh, you know, the whole event as well by myself. I was mentoring a couple of teams. A couple of teams were coding. A couple of teams were, you know, not very strong at coding's end, but they still could go. You know, they still could go with the flow and evolve themselves through this, through the, uh, two, two or three days. Uh, so, just in very short, what, what is it that, you know, you are so enthusiastic about? Uh, with a, from a technical point of view? I think it's not exactly from a technical point of view. I will get back to it in the very end, but uh, the, I believe the main uh, like idea and what we cult culturate, cultivate in, inside NIR is the secret sauce to all this success because we focus on the development ex developer's experience first and also the experience of their users. So we provide the tooling that uh, the developers will benefit from and can build up their and the projects community behind quickly. it, right? Yeah. So we mm -hmm. provide all the tutorials yeah. and yeah. Uh, onboarding um, helpers and uh, also some SDKs and tooling and uh, everything that uh, the developers it's a whole would need. Yeah, right? The whole ecosystem, actually, right? That you So it's not just yeah. blockchain that we provide. Exactly. We actually build the whole ecosystem first, yeah. and we even change our protocol to uh, facilitate and empower the end users because yeah. we feel the pain and we need to address mm -hmm. it and we, we are not afraid to change the protocol to, uh, to help out and uh, smooth, smooth down the yeah. whole experience. Yeah. Now looking forward into future, um, how do you see in upcoming like years this tech community growing up in yeah. this environment of Europe, because we all, you know, envy Silicon Valley, look into that environment being more, you know, enabling to, to such, you know, innovations. But uh, Europe has been ever since, like, you know, accused of not being enough, uh, not doing enough, not being fast enough. But I see lots of development, lots of movement. So, how do you look into future? Um, yeah, well, you know, from, yeah, from this I'm, point I'm looking of view? from a different perspective than from like. I feel in the U.S. they have a different approach of innovations and like experiments and stuff. But here in Europe, uh, people are mostly focused on uh, human beings, and I yeah. highly value this factor. That uh, uh, and then the war in Ukraine actually showed that that uh, people are very supportive, and that's uh, how I view the future. That each individual uh, person is going to be the uh, uh, going to bring the future and be the future so it's not about the startups and businesses how exactly. I view it I view it through the uh, prism of individuals human beings supporting each other and building some uh, c community and uh, groups where they can uh, feel that they are uh, they can be safe and uh, and, and just happy yeah. And like uh, happiness is uh, is all, all our uh, own, uh, I don't know, destiny. Exactly. And uh, uh, we you know, it's about it. cherishing the togetherness yeah. in a such event and, and after COVID, during exactly. a war, yeah. bringing a couple of people, young people, with all these ideas and all these you know visions yeah. that you know that are addressing the problems they will deal with. Yep. It's nothing you know matter where we will deal with it in 50 years, but it is happening now. The climatic change is happening now. So we are Sustainista. We're very thrilled to be part of it, Vlad. Yeah. You know, it, it was an honor for me as well personally to know, get to know you and get to know I the community. I think it's a perfect match because uh, the blockchain and uh, the decentralization and, and trust is very... Uh, very much needed very much in sustainable needed, yeah, field, to be right? sustainable exactly. in the future. Where and like it's, it's a, it's yeah. a, we provide the platform while you're providing the missing pieces of like connections and proper like a connection with the real world uh, yeah. because uh, we, we, need, we both need each other. Uh, technology will make things easier and, um, and the real clear world and transparent yeah. uh, while we still need the... Uh, proper bindings to the uh, yeah. to the rest of the world. Yeah, you were saying it. Transparency and, you know, kind of uh, meaningful development has been our major focus since ever since of in Sustainista. Yeah. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being part of it and make, you know, make it happen. Uh, and very, very much looking forward into future, I'm man. excited thank to be you. part of it. So thank you so much <laughs> for you. everything. And, and yeah, it was great to yourself, talk to you okay? and having the whole event uh, hosted. Thank, thank you, you, man. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.